Hey guys, this is a Hunter Biltmore ceiling fan I got a few days ago. Kind of got it because I was curious and I haven't seen a Hunter like this before, so I'm just kind of assuming it's rare. Blaze the light. They use candelabra bulbs, interesting enough. Let's get it going. This one's dated the first quarter of 1988. I think that's how Hunter does it. I've never seen one of these before. <clears throat> Runs perfectly, though. The only issue I had with it were the screws for the uh, globes there were a little loose for some reason. So I got new ones to replace the ones that wouldn't hold the globes in. And surprisingly, they're not buzzing, so it's nice and tight. There's a slight wobble on low every now and then. One of the blades is a little out of whack. Medium. Oh yeah, and these pull chains came with it. <laughs> they don't quite match, but I like them enough to keep them on there just cause they're unique. It's a good breeze on medium always. This thing is a great air mover. <clears throat> This probably won't be hanging for very long just because it's a little too big for this spot. And I only hung it here just to test it because it comes just a little too close to the baby gold mine. If it were to wobble, it would hit. And I'd be worried about the blades on this thing if it hit the uh, gold line just because that can be bent back, that can't. <laughs> and high. I say bent like you can bend wood. I'm more worried about it snapping the wood off. Yeah, this is a good air mover. It's pretty powerful. I would say this thing probably moves more air than most of the hunters I have. Probably rivaling the original Studio Series. But of course, coming second place to the second century. All right. Can I show the light with it? These bulbs were supposedly like, excuse me, they were supposedly 100 watt decorative bulbs. I didn't think they'd be so perfect for the fan because they really accentuate the brass. And it looks like the brass is, and the color of the bulbs look like the, the brass is reflecting and filling the room with light. Spin down. I'm not sure if the light kit is original Hunter. I want to say it is, but it also looks like the brass is a slightly different shade of brass. <laughs> like a different color. It makes me wonder if the light kit is original or not. Regardless, it looks so good on the fan, I'd keep it on it. Good bearings, too. The fan is silent. Yeah, I think I have to bend one of the blades back. It's hanging a little high. It's hanging a little high. Or it may be the only blade that's not sagging on the fan. <laughs> I have to say, the seller did an astounding job of packing this fan. It was wrapped up very neatly, and everything was organized and sorted real neatly. <laughs> Could have fooled me into thinking they were a fan collector, but they weren't. This banana isn't too long compared to some of the other hunters I've filmed. <laughs> 
And there we go. All right, and zero to high. When this thing starts throwing its breeze, it's like a gust of wind, and then it gets a little calmer. But this thing is a great air mover. <laughs> I just find it surprising is all. But anyway, there you have it. The Hunter Built More Ceiling Fan. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.